My name is Michael Buchta. I'm uh, a ramp serviceman for United Airlines in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Well, Chucky Davis is a childhood friend who's gone through a lot. He's been a uh, previous kidney transplant, previous pancreas transplant, lost sight in his eye. I was a childhood diabetic from the age of six. And uh, you know, 40 years of that uh, plays a toll on your body. And my kidneys failed, my eyesight failed. When I was 40, was I had my first kidney transplant. And uh, he went through some tough times. And after 14 years, his kidney stopped working. Waiting for a kidney a, a, and being on dialysis is a very rough process. It, uh, you have no life when you're on dialysis. It's, it's a struggle just to do any normal task. Cutting my grass was, it would take me two days to cut my grass and I have a small yard. But the longer you're on dialysis, the weaker that you get. Your heart weakens, your other organs weaken, you have a chance of other organ and, uh, organs shutting down. Um, three days a week, four to five hours, six hours by the time with travel back and forth to home. Um, gets home, sits in a chair, can't move for the rest of the day. Then he's a little bit better the next day, but then he's got to go back the following day. So it's a vicious cycle. I was watching Chucky decline. You know, and I knew what it was doing to her. You know, how it was just devastating her. And uh, the Lord works in mysterious ways. He woke me up, told me it's, it's time to help Chucky out. Chucky said no to me, but he's not gonna say no today. And he just go see Chucky. And I couldn't believe it was happening. I've heard of it happening and so I reached over and woke up Diane and I said, I'm going to see Chucky. And she looked at the clock and she said, it's four o'clock in the morning. And I laughed and I said, no, I'll be there at the crack of dawn. I'd been through a kidney transplant before and uh, there's a risk involved with someone donating a kidney. And it's not much of a risk, but there, there is inherently a risk. Uh, and I just didn't want to put anybody through it. I can't, I, I can't fathom having Somebody, something happened to somebody that was doing something for me. That would just tear me up. So uh, I really didn't want anybody to get tested. I was willing to wait for a cadaver kidney, but uh, Michael wasn't having any of that. And I showed up on Chucky's door and he reluctantly let me in. And after a very emotional, nearly two hour conversation, Chucky agreed to let me be tested. Michael gladly stepped up to the plate for me and uh, actually had to talk me into allowing him to get tested. Blood types, we knew right off the bat we had the same blood type. I passed all my testing. It was, a, you know, the last part of it is they take your blood of mine and Chucky's blood and they mix them together. And unfortunately, Chucky's antigens are high being a previous recipient of two organs. And so he rejected, his blood rejected mine. That day that we found out that uh, Michael couldn't actually give me his kidney was uh, quite the letdown, to put it mildly. Chucky's time was running out, but the ultimate goal was Chucky's going to get a kidney. So I agreed to sign the paperwork and join the national donor list, and it was the best decision I ever made. The person that I gave my kidney to has become like a brother to me. And his name is Lenny Zwig. He's a 43-year-old father of three and lives in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They ran my numbers and Lenny ended up being my match. But it's much more complicated than that. An opening day in Milwaukee Brewers 2018, Lenny and his 17-year-old son went to the game. They're getting dressed at home. They have their Brewers jerseys on, they're at the door, and Lenny's wife stops them and says, take the jerseys off. They look at her and they don't know what she's up to. And she pulls some t-shirts out, the t-shirt read, share your spare. And on the back had his blood type, had his phone number, his email address. So him and his son are sitting at the home opener with these t-shirts on. And in today's day and age, you know, it went viral. They put them up on a jumbotron, so a 24-year-old school teacher named Emily seen this, 
called the number. She knew she was a match on the blood type and wanted to donate her kidney to Lenny. It was a, the t-shirts were a success and it happened really quickly. As their surgery date grew near, they measured her kidney and her being small in stature, Lenny being 6'4", 235 or so, they were greeted with the bad news of her kidney was too small. So you have two people in Milwaukee, a 24-year-old school teacher wanting to give her kidney. Everything works out to the very end because of the size. Me and Chucky, all the way to the end, doesn't work out here. They run and they search for donors. Chucky matches with Emily, I match with Lenny. There was no correspondence. There was no planning of this. You know, I wanted to help a friend. But the journey led to much more than that. I mean, the fact that I had to join the living donor list and, and I was able to not only get my friend a kidney, I was able to save somebody else's life and to give the gift of life to two people. It, it's just phenomenal and I'm so honored. And now my goal in life is to promote that. Anybody that can save a life and is willing to do so has to be a special person. Chucky, uh, you know, he's here with me today and he's, he's back to the old Chucky. He's vibrant, he's the same Chucky. When I ask him how he feels, he tells me great and it's an honest answer. Chucky's no longer a friend, he's, he's my brother.